like you have that many starters out, you have some guys going out during the game to get that kind of performance, six sacks. Uh, how key was that today? It's huge. I mean, it's absolutely huge for us to, uh, you know, go out there and keep battling in, in all three phases. Um, you know, it just I thought that they, 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 they never quit and they tried to pick each other up and support each other. And when you know, the offense needed to play, the, the defense was able to come and, and help. You know, when we made a mistake on offense or, you know, we gave up a touchdown on defense, you know, or we needed to drive offensively, needed a big play. And I thought our special teams, you know, kept us in there and, and, and did a great job with field position. Stop. 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 Simmons, you still maintain that four-man front, four or six sacks. So what was the key to being able to still, you know, do that with those four guys? Well, I think you know that they they probably weren't at 100 percent either, and uh, that's how it goes in this league. And I know that those guys took advantage of their opportunities. You know, Demarcus and and, and Mario and and and, and Danico and you know the whole crew. Um, you know, they they played. Relentless, and you know, unfortunately, weren't able to get the stop there at the end on fourth down. But you know, they battled and they had them running and scrambling. The flea flicker been in for a while, Mike, or did you see something this week? Design it with them in mind. Well, I mean, I think some of those you just um, you know try to carry and try to you know hit at the right time. Criticism of wide receivers after last week's game. How do you feel like they bounced back in particular NWI? I think we just did enough to win the game. There will be a lot of things we'll have to take a look at, um, you know, in all three phases. So to, to be able to, you know, determine that right now, I don't know if that's, that's fair to anybody. You know, we'll make sure that, uh, you know, when we throw it, that we have, we have time to throw it. You know, it starts there. It starts with the ability to protect the quarterback, uh, quarterback making uh, great decisions, and then, you know, guys going to make plays. And I, I can't really answer that. I can't honestly answer that right now just coming off the game being where I was on the sidelines I thought you know we, we had some plays that we made and I'm sure we left some out there they were intent on stopping they were intent on slowing down Derek in the run game how good was it though that the pass game was able to step up and well we hit some big plays you know hit some big plays and, and every week I'm, I'm pretty sure that everybody's intent on stopping Derek that whatever you just said can go for next Thursday and then the Sunday after that and Sunday after that so um, we we, we got to get them going, you know. I think that's you know obvious. Today was was tough sledding, and you know we'll have to get the back going in unison with the line and making good decisions and and all those things. What do you like? Maybe Ryan loosened up as the game went on and got a little bit more in the flow, or how did you assess how you played? Well, I mean, I think that you know, I, I thought he hit some big throws. I thought the throw to Chig was was a great throw. You know, layered it, and you know. Hoop had the penalty, and then Hoop came back and had the big third down conversion. You know, I mean, that's an example that we try to show the guys. Like, yep, would have loved not to flinch there, Hoop, but you know, he came back and and caught it, broke a couple tackles, and got a first down. And that's that's the message that we always try to send: is you know, we're gonna make a mistake, get back to centered, and, and try to fire, figure out a way to go make it right. What went wrong on the fumble? We fumbled, and you know, it's obviously, you know critical that we take care of the football. That, that's, that's what went wrong, and you know, we just have to take care of the football. You've mentioned your identity being you know, that run the football part of the eight carries and in the first half. Is that just a matter of tough sledding, or what was it that made you go? How many plays do we have in the first half? Uh, 16? I mean, there weren't too many. Well, Tanner, you had 13 pass attempts. Well, we were getting behind the chains. I know there were some three and outs. Again, you would really... You know, even looking at the second half where we had nine yard gain, penalty, nine yard, you know, I mean, it was like we just gaining nine yards in a run and then there's a penalty. You know, I think we can be at our best if we can start to get in there and complement some, some runs and some play passes. Um, but you just have to sustain some drives, you know, to be able to get that going, um, you know. So we'll keep looking at it. How do special teams help you, I guess, punting and maybe covering punts uh, in particular? Uh, I've told you this for a while. You know, that's, that's got to be a strength of our team. I uh, feel like we have the ability to be the best, you know, punt team in, in, the, in the NFL. Uh, the way that Stoney hits them and, and guys are going down there. Um, C.J. Board stepped up today, got the opportunity to come and help us on special teams, drew a penalty, you know, noticed Trey Avery. Um, you know that and guys guys get excited because they know, you know the ball's going to be in, in the air for a long time and they can go down there and 
you know, we knew that Washington wasn't going to fair catch them, so that there was going to be some opportunities for everybody to make some plays. To get away. On the long. Yeah, we just need to need to get a guy over the top of them. Are you fortunate to get away with maybe the the drops, Mike? Maybe six on offense and defense, the neutral zone infractions, stuff you're usually cleaner with. Yeah, we're always fortunate when we win. What did you see clicking on that two-minute drive before the half that got things going? Well, I think Brian was decisive. I think we protected him. You know, I think we were able to protect them. Um, you know, we got into a good flow. You know, it started with trailing with a little catch and run and, you know, just pile through there and get the first down, put his pads down. Um, you know, penalty-free drive offensively. Um, yeah, there, there's some, certainly some things there just referencing Paul's, you know, comment that you know, will probably cost you. I mean, just line up in a neutral zone however many times, jump off sides on, you know, just, you know, certainly things that, we're not, we're not coaching, we're not, we're not encouraging, we're not, you know. Th- those are things that obviously going against uh, elite teams in this league that will probably get you, get you beat. How much of a morale boost does it give you when you, you, know, you, when you win, when you don't play your best, you're about five starters, uh, but find a way to win? Well, I think it was, it was a long week. You know, guys went on, on the road last Sunday night and, and they, they laid it on the line and it came up short in, in overtime on Sunday night. And it took us a while to, um, you know, I think get over that. And then as guys continued to not be available, you know, I felt like at least, you know, we were getting ready and, and guys were excited to be able to play. And I think that showed at certain times. Um, we just needed to, to be there the entire time. How much you know, concern with CJ. Randy Bullock's health getting through this game? I mean, he didn't have him kicking off. He, he didn't. How much of a concern when you don't have your kicker 10 minutes before the game? Yes. A, a shit ton. <laughs> what, uh, how did you do it? Is able to, what he do wasn't it? available. Yeah. First game back for Traylon, what were your thoughts on his performance? Um, you know, there's some inconsistencies, but, you know, he was able to catch a couple balls, and, you know, we just got to continue to work him in there. He's got to understand how, how this game's played. It's played fast-paced and continue to work on all the little things and the you know, communication with Ryan and, and how, how we're subbing him in and all those just little things because, you know, we're working him back in. It's just not going to be an every snap thing. You head straight to the facility now or what's, uh, what's a short week like? Well, the coaches, you know, I mean, we've tried to do a little bit of preparation on, on Green Bay. Um, I think you have to. Um, hopefully the players can get some rest and we'll be in – you know, work, working on a you know squad meeting tomorrow at 12:30. Recovery with them, the, the research and the things that we've tried to do to get them recovered tomorrow, and and how we try to prepare to, to go on a short week. Mike, you mentioned CJ. Is special teams where you expect him to show up primarily? Can you give us? Uh, today it was. Today it certainly was. You know, I give uh, Chase and Alka, you know, a lot of credit. They were excited to insert him in there. When, when a player became un, unavailable and he, he did everything he, he could to take advantage of his opportunities as a returner and also giving us uh, some juice out there on, as a gunner. So uh, that's where it started and then we'll see where it progresses uh, offensively. I felt better in my life, but the wind tastes good, I'll tell you that much. Did you feel like you got loosened up more as the game went on or is it more of a struggle uh, to get through it as the game went yeah, I definitely didn't feel better, but, uh, you know, things were ugly early. Guys hung with me and, and kept battling, and, um, you know, we just found a way to, to start making some plays, uh, take advantage of some looks that we were getting, and, um, and made some big plays, especially there down the stretch when we needed it. At what point in the week did you feel like, okay, I could probably get this thing to go? Uh, just kind of feeling it out as the week went on. You know, I know it's, it's been getting better up until, uh, until today, uh, so... You know, I felt decent going about it into, into the week. And, uh, you know, once we started practicing and moving around on a little bit, I had a pretty good feeling that things were going to work out. Is a thing where you're, wake, you're, you're anxious to see how it feels when you wake up tomorrow morning? Do what? Is it a thing where you're anxious to see how it feels tomorrow Yeah, morning? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how I feel in the morning. But, uh, like I said, everything feels a little better when you win. 
What did you feel like guys maybe stepped up for, up for you today, whether it was Nick or, or Chig or maybe even Austin on a couple of plays? Yeah, they're huge. They're huge. You know, uh, you know, Nick made some plays, uh, you know, getting that two-minute drive going. Uh, obviously, on the, on the touchdown there at the end of half, uh, then on the, the other long touchdown, uh, Hoop made some big plays on, on third down. Chig, that was a huge third down there at the end of the fourth quarter. Um, you know, something we, uh, we saw on the sideline and, and talked to him about and, uh, you know, made a little adjustment, came back, and, and were able to hit it. So uh, it's pretty cool whenever, you know, you make those sideline adjustments, talk, talk through it with, with a young player like Chig, who's, uh, who's coming on for us, and he goes out there and makes a huge play for us. You come into the game knowing that the, the flea flicker's part of the plan, or is that something that comes in? Along the way, yeah, it was part of the plan. Um, you know, there's a lot of plays in the plan. Else, you never know if it's going to get called or not. But uh, Todd, Todd dialed it up right at the perfect time, and uh, and guys executed. Had plenty of time to make the throw, and Nick obviously did a good job on the outside. Brian, you know what they could do to sell out to stop Derek today? Did you kind of know going as the game went on that the pass game was going to have to step up and make some plays? To pull this one out? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, you know, we had opportunities early in the pass game. You know, I just wasn't good enough, and then. Uh, Kind of stuck with it. They were they were one up us one upping us a lot in personnel, uh, so the run game was, was tough. I feel like we kept battling and, and were able to increase a few runs and there get get some efficient runs, which was good. Um, but you know there's going to be opportunities in the past game, and then we finally got things going and, and took advantage of them. You got your first hundred yard receiver, and you guys doubled the touchdown total for the receivers. How good can that be as far as like a launching point for these guys and you to you know, get things together? And yeah, it's huge. You know, it's huge. You know, you want to start stacking um, good performances. So, you know, those guys were, were doing a good job all game. Um, they hung with me, like I said, and, and started making plays there when I got them the ball, you know, as the game went on. So, um, you know, a lot of good things to, uh, to stack and build on from that group. Ryan, you take off running in the two-minute drill, uh, guys on your heels. Is that something that you had tested during the week on your ankle, or is it just a matter of necessity there? Yeah, I definitely hadn't tested that, and uh, I didn't feel too good. But... Uh, um, yeah, necessity there. You know, po pocket got muddy, things weren't clean downfield, and was able to uh, to squirt out of there. What are things like now? You have got to get ready to play now in four days. Just what's that? What kind of challenge is that going to be for you and maybe for the team? Yeah, no doubt, it's a challenge. It's a challenge each and every Thursday night game that it comes around. Um, you got to get get past this one quickly. Uh, get your body right. Do everything you can. You know, you only have a few days to uh, to heal up and um, and knock out any soreness. So I'm uh, gonna have to be diligent in um, in our sleep. In our preparation and um, in our healing, just just trying to get as much work in as we can in the training room and, and getting our bodies right, and that we can be ready to go on Thursday. You said the flea flicker was called at the right time. The Malik's fumble from where you looked was that a? I mean, did you have it set up there, and you just didn't get the execution you guys needed there? Yeah, I don't know exactly. You know what happened on that? You have to ask uh, uh, Malik, but. Um, you know, it was something we we practiced during the week, uh, especially in that type of situation. And uh, unfortunately, the ball went on the ground. Brian, you've been a part of really good offenses here. What do you feel like is going to be the key to getting more consistent throughout a game? Yeah, consistency. You said it. You know, we, we've we've done good things at times, and um, did good things at times today. You know, it just takes consistency um, from everybody. You know, starting with me, uh, and then on down the line. You know. Um, Got to be able to take advantage of plays when they when they come up, and uh, and be consistent, you know, from the first drive uh, to the end of the game. How much maybe it is a, a morale boost is it when you win and you don't play as well and you had so many guys out like you guys did today, five guys on defense. Yeah, it's huge. You know, I'm proud of those guys. I mean, they they came came to play and were battling all game, kept us in it. You know, when things weren't weren't pretty offensively early, they kept us in the game. Um, then finally, offense started making some plays. So proud of our guys, the way we battled. That's one thing I know about this team is we're going to go battle. You know, no matter what's going on, um, no matter how things are going on the field, we're going to stick together. We're going to keep battling and, and try to find a way to win, and we were able to do that today. Do you kind of know what the long day injury was for the team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I got that little little birdie in my ear at pregame, like, hey, you might uh, be holding, you know, so um, not, the, uh, not the information you want to get uh, in pregame, but uh, Randy was able to stick it out and, and make some kicks for us there uh, on extra points and then that field goal, crucial field goal, um, you know, there at the end. So uh, definitely he showed some toughness for us and, um, and battled it out and, and came up big. You went through the motions on a warm-up kick there on your way in. <laughs> were you thinking you were in the pecking order? No, that is not going to happen. I... Uh, I, the only field goal attempt I think I've ever attempted in my life was uh, my freshman year in college, and I, I drilled the left guard in the back of the head. So, um, yeah, not going to happen again. Questions for Eric? 
Yeah, I guess how great, how good was it just to get out of here and find a way to, what way to win this one? Yeah, um, great win, great team win. Um, stuck together through it, and um, you know, got a got a victory, and you know, that's, that's always good. Everybody's always happy. You like seeing the pass game step up like that because it was obvious that they were keying on you, trying to keep you from running wild all day. Yeah, they're very happy. Uh, you know, guys to be able to you know get up and catch some balls and make some big plays for us. Ryan did a great job, and you know, credit to those guys, and you know, just happy to see it all come together and these guys make some plays and get some touchdowns. How big for you guys when after the turnover the defense gets the stop and it gives you an opportunity to go back down? Yeah, they've been playing um, lights out um, and um, they play with full effort, relentless, and you know we you know got to do our part and go out there and uh, put points on the board. But defense has been playing lights out. You guys are great at finding finding ways to win even when you don't necessarily play your best. You feel like you're into the stage of the season where. You've got to play better even in the wins to be ready for what's coming in, in January. Yeah, I think you just got to um, continue to focus, continue wanting to get better um, as a team on all three phases, and then just let everything come together and just keep keep stacking and um, just trying to get better every each and every day. you played in these Thursday night games before. What's the challenge coming off of a Sunday trying to get ready to play here now in four days? Um, I think you just um, watch the film on this game. And uh, get past it, and then you know, do everything you need to do. Get your body ready. Um, prepare all week. Quick turnaround, and get ready for Thursday. What were the Broncos doing defensively to kind of slow down the running game tonight? I think they just played well. Um, a lot of a lot of them in the box. Um, I got to play better. No excuses. I feel like I could have done a lot better than what I did. And um, you know, just watch film, make the corrections, and learn from it. You were in and out of the tent there a couple of times. Just what was going on? Say it again. You were in and out of the tent a couple of times. Just kind of what was going on. I went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the flea flicker, uh, obviously, that's something you guys have worked on. Would you, could you tell they bid on it, and did you get a sense that maybe that you could hit a hit a home run on that one? Well, yeah, I see him come up. I was just hoping I made a good toss to Ryan, and you know somebody was open. Nick was wide open and got a touchdown, made an explosive play. Nick Westbrook Aquino said his eyes kind of lit up. He was excited when that play was first called. What was going going through your mind when that play was first called? Oh, um, once I threw it and I looked and I seen it was wide open, he caught the ball, I knew it was going to be a touchdown, man. Nick works hard. You know, he loves his team. He'll do whatever he can to help us win. And just happy for him that he was able to make some plays today. Coach Rabel talks about it all the time, but that next man, that mentality, you guys had a ton of players out with injuries, been battling all through the season. But to be able to step up um, without some of those key starters tonight, what does that say just about the resiliency and the ability of this team? Yeah, we definitely can't wait to get those guys back. But I think the guys that went in there and um, played hard just shows that how, how hungry they are, how focused, how detailed, and you know how you know how, how ready they are to make a play to help us win. And um, credit to those guys. Asked Ben Jones about the quick turnaround this week, and he said the quick turnaround's always made easier by a win. Why do you feel that way? I mean, cause you, you lose, then you you know you try to. It's hard to get over a loss, but when you win, you know you can make the corrections and um, you know move forward and get ready for the next one. What happened on the play with Malik on the fumble? Uh, I'm, uh, I mean, I guess it was a bad exchange. I mean, I mean I'm not really sure. I got I to watch the film, but, you know, it's, we just made uh, a mistake and you know, we're, we're learning from it and get better at it.